It's a common but misconstrued thought. It can't and won't happen here. A trafficker can be a stranger an acquaintance or a trusted love person. Despite increased awareness and resources, the number of people falling victim to human trafficking continues to grow. We are really all working together. You know, there's about 40 agencies on that task force that has come together to help fight against trafficking, to bring it to an end, and to support and advocate for survivors of trafficking. Turning Point, a nonprofit service agency in Macomb County, is known for providing empowerment and help to survivors of domestic and sexual violence, launching their human trafficking program in 2022. The program provides individualized outreach, counseling, housing, help with finances, job searches, and more. There is a Macomb County anti uh, trafficking task force that has been developed out of the exec Macomb County Executive's office be to help deal with trafficking. Human trafficking occurs when an individual is compelled by force or coercion, even fraud, to engage in commercial sex acts, labor, or service. Oftentimes, individuals can't leave because they're being threatened and or exploited. I think it is crucial for people to understand that this is a worldwide crime and it is a very lucrative crime, and it happens here in Michigan and definitely here in Macomb County. Sharman Davenport, the nonprofit CEO, says many cases of human trafficking go unreported. The numbers are tricky, but here's a sobering statistic. Since Turning Point's inception in 1980, the nonprofit has helped more than 125,000 people, not all for human trafficking, but a lot. I think part of the reason is because we are a border state, right? We are next to Canada, so you can cross that border. We're next to, we're close to the Ohio border. Uh, we have a lot of highways that, you know, people can be moved in and out of Michigan and Macomb County. So I think that adds to, um, you know, the ease in which uh, human trafficking can take place. Now, through this new program, they're getting referrals from law enforcement and hospitals. Davenport says it comes down to awareness, something that should be starting inside of the home. But I think one of the um, issues that we sometimes have is we don't, as parents and family members, is we don't extend our safety net far enough. You know, most of us, we create a safety net for our children, but we don't extend it to the internet, to gaming rooms, to chat rooms. And that was Fox 2's Erica Francis reporting. Turning Point's hotline can be reached 24 hours a day. That number is 586-463-6990. You can learn more about volunteering or making a donation at turningpointmacomb.org.